Right enough, baby. Has no way to respond. Can't play any suppression. Uh, can't play any spells. He's suppressed to hell. Let's freaking go. We beat deep with the Ari deck. Let's go. <laughs> That's insane. I will not rest. Wait, what? Do you hear the call? Wait. No, they all have to be elusive. Dude, why do I do this? I actually did this the last time in the stream, too. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, and we are back. And I, I just, I have to try this deck in a video. We tried it on stream, and that's why I'm here, is because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Tomorrow, we will be streaming, and we're gonna be playing all types of stuff. I'm looking to play with viewers. It's gonna be a YouTube stream. I'm looking to play with viewers. Uh, it might not be Runeterra specifically. We're, we're looking to play um, maybe TFT, maybe uh, the arenas. Uh, we're gonna try to do some fun stuff, and uh, there will be there will be Runeterra, but uh, it will be a mixture of stuff depending on how far the stream goes. But it will be released around this time, which is uh, the video is gonna come up uh, probably later than 12 EST. But it, I want to do it like. 8 p.m. ES, uh, 8 a.m. Sorry, EST or 9 a.m. EST. Sometime in the morning, uh, you guys will know. I just gotta wake up. So keep it up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to be part of the videos. I want to have some fun with you guys. It should be pretty fun and entertaining. Now let's go over to the deck, which is uh, I'm gonna lose a lot. So that's why I wanted to talk to you guys in the beginning because I think it's just uh, it, yeah, we're, we're this is gonna just be this is gonna be the games where we have the most fun. Probably not the games where I do the best, but. Uh, we're I, I just have a, a a sickening boner for the black flame and the not the base seeker junior Where are you popper? Sir uh, Inquisitor, I just want to keep putting suppression into their hand. We have Morgana We're gonna be recalling our units a bunch of times recalling their units a bunch of times It's gonna be a blast tail cloak matriarch also because I just want to be a absolute snob and we're having the curses the problem though the problem though the problem though is that the Mage Seeker Inquisitor is in Demacia, so in order for me to, to get my Wet Willies off, I have to do it in Demacia. And uh, the other curse synergies are actually in Targon. So, it is what it is. Plus, I'm trying to give myself a reason to get an Ari skin. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I got most of the characters, you know, like, all the skins are looking great, but, like, Ari's is so good. But I'm looking to make an Ari deck, and this is probably not going to be the reason why. I might have to go back to like Ari Kaiza or something like that. You know, that was a, always a pretty good deck in my opinion. Uh, constantly recalling the same units and then uh, doing that. But man, maybe we'll do that on the stream or something like that. Make an Ari deck. Uh, but hey, let's get into the games. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> oh, DLC Soldier, I respect the name. Uh, but I think we're skipping the match though. <laughs> Teemo? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We do have some bunch of suppression stuff, but I don't think that this necessarily is going to be the matchup where it's going to matter. He's just going to flood the field with elusives, and while flooding the field with elusives, uh, we just die. But there's a potential that I could apply enough pressure before. Potential. A lot of union, a uh, union, a uh, unit focused. Oh no. It's not meant to be, bro. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be, bro. Oh, man. What? Bro. Bro. You have to be kidding me. Top. Five mushrooms and put on the top two cards of my deck. It's not meant to be, bro. It's not meant to be. Let me draw another one. Let me draw one one. One each turn. I'm about to say, I, I'll, I will sell this game. I don't know how I will, but I'll do it. So we got suppression. So he can't ping me, and I should be able to pull. You know what? He is a puller. He is a puller. Uh, does he have more after that? Who's a good boy? That's funny. It will all be over soon. I don't really care about him reducing the cost of something. This is just an elusive. There's not even that many spells in the deck, I think. Uh, so we should be fine here. 
I forgot he's a challenger. So there's there's actually a shot. There's actually a shot, and we do have protection for him this time. He blew it on Ari, which uh, he levels right. <laughs> Does he have another one? I'll be able to recall uh, Timo next time, though. We're good. Uh, God will seedling would be uh, the best. And then we got the Mage Jr. Because suppression is only two mana. Making it three would be a real pain in his ass. See, look, suppression. So, so he does have some spells here. Uh, and we do have healing. Wait, wait. Maybe, maybe I gave up too soon. Um, depending on how he plays this, I might, I might actually just play with Mor Morgana here. I also could put him in the Black Flame, but then I lose my blocker. But putting him in the Black Flame is absolutely gross because every time I attack, it forces suppression. That's why I like it so much. It forces suppression. They cannot respond to spells. It's actually pretty legit. I think. Uh... We'll just shackle him up. So he can't block with that. He attacks. We can heal very easily with Morgana. This might be a, a, a decent, a more, it might be a better matchup than I thought. Um, we could God Widow Ceiling into the Black Flame. And then, and these are all targets too. All right, so I don't have too many mushrooms in my deck. So and he can't get the suppression off at the moment anyway. He only puts three mushrooms in our deck though. So let's recall him. We get a coin. I still have the other OG one in my hand. We get to take this out as well. We get a really good attack here. Still has the suppression in hand and all that good stuff, so I like that a lot. And now when I play uh, Children of the Forest will be good. Gotta love it. That would have been four damage right there. We do have healing, but yeah, that would have been a little bit much. And we actually do have another tag out, so that would be a pain in his royal ass. Alright, he can't actually play those, so... Actually, this is just... <laughs> good luck, sir! <laughs> good luck! <laughs> oh no, dude! Oh boy, and I'm about to put another suppression in his hand. You are you are gonna be completely unable to do anything. Hands getting full, nine cards in hand. Um, he it's the mushroom cloud are just way too expensive now. He still has to play to get this suppression out. I'm about to play this guy, so I have another one. And yeah. They are blind to their own weakness. I know, talk to him. Let him know. And I think he's trying to figure out what to do. He could play suppression. So he at least could play spells next turn. I think that that would be the decent play. But if he does nothing, the suppression is going to get a little bit too expensive because I'm about to play a another one. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Don't let it go, bro. Don't don't do it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn. Okay, now I can't do it. Here is an enemy of the crowd. There it is. For suppression. Because now it's like actually just 2 on 2 instead of it being boosted up to 3. I wish it was that it stacked a little bit differently. And I also think it's depending on how they come out. But So yeah, now he can't do anything. We have the Ari. Which is a nice low mana play. He has to play 4 and then something else just to do that. I think we do this first, actually. <laughs> My 
My man left the building, bro. Embrace this ephemeral triumph. Yes, embrace it. All right, we have deep. Now, deep is very interesting because obviously he can mess with our deck a lot, but at the same time, I feel like I might just be able to get a cheeky win, especially with like a bunch of elusives. I think we're going to definitely keep this. I want to keep him because he's my guy. This is going to be somewhat irrelevant, I feel, because I feel like the spells that they have are either three or higher. So I don't want the Mage Seeker Jr. We get the Ari, which is great. Um, suppression will be relevant, absolutely. What did he burn there? Yeah, see, already three. The the jettison is, is definitely a bad mill for him, but... Uh, and then another dredger. I always look looking for the cards that don't come back with Nautilus. That's always what I'm looking for. Alright, uh, hopefully... I could just do this, and then he can't do anything, but... I'll see all this world has to two mana, I don't think he can kill this for two mana. But... I, I've been... I could be staying corrected. There we go. Four damage. We get a draw. <laughs> Next turn, what I'll likely do is uh, magical fettering. Just in case he does have something, it's just going to mess him up just a little bit. He likely plays a unit here. He likely plays a unit here. So I'm... Um, oh, I could... No, I, I don't have enough mana for that. Lower the depths. And again, that other play I was thinking about would have stopped that. Actually, no, he would have responded to it. Gives me a little bit more protection. Oh, wait, no, no, that's actually bad to do. Well, actually, not that much. Not that much. I pay, I get some defense. He has to play to get that out of his hand. And then he has no uh, banked mana. It's a unit-based deck, but it does. It, I feel like it does do something. That he doesn't have any mana going into the next turn. So yeah, he just plays that, and then we're actually pretty safe here. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Anyone gathered here is an enemy of the crowd. So now he has to play suppression. Then he's only left with two mana again. I could also cycle it. Obviously, I could cycle the. Uh, actually, that would be the best. Almost the draw. I actually have a decent hand here, but. I could pull him in, and then I can get to play him again. again. Okay. So he keeps the suppression in hand. Big for mercy. Two steps into moonlight. So I'll take the trade here. Be gone, thief. He takes the damage. I might uh, God Widow Ceiling next turn. We get another Mage Seeker, that's great. Right now we're two out of five. They also buffed her. They made it that her uh, she needs doesn't have to recall as many units. That's awesome to see as well. Depends on what he does here. Right now we're building up a large army of <laughs> dancing droplets. But I think it's the strongest, right? So it, it does at least give you three of the strongest. So if I recall anything really good, I uh, will also get that. And he's thinking. And this is what we were doing to the other guy. Like literally um, just had him thinking and thinking and thinking. Eat the trash! Eat the trash! <laughs> give them room to spread their leaves. So he gets that. He tosses a little bit. I think he just pulls this in, and then it dies, right? The forest's heart will make you strong. I'm gonna do that to bring the suppression to four. If he has any other follow-up spell plays that he wanted to do, he can't. <laughs> uh, now we're at least recalling this guy, so we'll get a couple of those, and uh, we could with this fast beat spell. Put a bunch of suppressions in his hand, which is kind of nuts. So he goes with the Dead Bloom Wanderer. I like to see that. Pretty fine. Wants to do some damage. 
This thing dies anyway, I, I so right allowing myself to trade into his unit, I think it's fine. Um, I could also recall it, but I have another one in hand. There's one in the God Will of Healing, it's fine. Seems A-OK -okay to me. Put this out. Now, in order to deal with any of these, he has to play four mana first. Or I can make it six mana. I think making it six mana is actually stronger. Every mage must face their crime. Now it's six mana. <laughs> so now it's six mana. He only has one mana left if he wants to respond to it. We get a free kill on uh, Maokai here now. Goes with Devour of the Depths. Both of these have Challenger. Okay. We're gonna recall our Ari here. This will hurt a little. He's still tossing a lot, but at least we're we're, we're kind of keeping him somewhat tamed. Clear out his units. We still have pullers. Pullers are kind of important. Ari, we need one more recall. And I like it that... Okay, now he has that. Uh, this, I get a free suppression on my next attack, which is really awesome. Six mana to get this out of his hand. <laughs> and then I have more follow-up suppressions after that. The water rises. Okay, so he's stuck with suppression again. But if his hand, which I'm assuming is full with... Um, is definitely full of uh he could block that i'm trying to think he could block that he needs to remove this technically i'll do a low committal play i can block both of his units if he if he somehow okay that's fine with me Such petty defiance. There's no other sea monsters. Well, he has sea monsters in his hand. They're just expensive. That's what that is telling me. Um, or he baited me, but he did because he did do that one uh, thing before. All right, so that I'm just trying to make a big board because he he can't respond, right? I don't do meditation. Is this lethal? So he can only respond with units, but he does have this, and I didn't I didn't draw a way to recall him, which was what I would prefer to have done. Um, let's see. So I think we go here. Or do I, I have her recall everything? It will all be on the suit. That's a lot of damage. But it's not lethal, so. Hey, over here. My question is does he have the eater guy? That that's the only way I lose this. If he has the eater guy and I don't draw a uh, a, a spell right now. God, that seems so greedy. I think I have to do it though. Looking for a daring escape. Damn it. The world's heart beats with mine. If he has it, he has it. This is the only card that I'm afraid of. The Lord of the Depths. Uh the Devourer of the Depths, sorry. He's the only card that I'm afraid of. Because with him specifically. He eats the Ari, and I can't do anything because I was hoping I would draw into the thing. But if I get, um... Blood and guts, golden glory. Okay, he also could have got it from there. Let them chase me. Or one off lethal. It's seven, so now he's he, he has absolutely none. He had to raw dog it from this. Did he raw dog it straight from that? That'd be insane. 
That would actually piss me off, honestly. But uh, it, it, I have to. I took it, two risks, double risk. I this is Yu-Gi-Oh right now. I'm taking the risk that he does not have those cards. He doesn't. Let's freaking go! <laughs> right enough, baby. Has no way to respond. Can't play any suppression. Uh, can't play any spells. He's suppressed to hell. Let's freaking go! We beat deep with the Ari deck. Let's go! <laughs> That's insane. Wait, what? Do you hear the call? Wait. No, they all have to be elusive. Dude, why do I do this? I actually did this the last time in the stream, too. I have to put the elusives all the way to the... Oh, my God. How did I mess this up again, bro? Dude, I can't believe I just did that. These aisles will be cleansed. Yeah, they probably will be now. What could you ever teach me? Stat natural. I gotcha. Okay. We need. Actually, really, I need multiple, uh... No one is beyond my reach. No one. Oh, what am I talking about? We could just disable his, uh, keywords here. So for the next turn... So he doesn't have all the fancy stuff now. So we can block him with literally anything. We just need to keep pouring you this on the field. Uh, 12 mana here. So he can play this and he'll have two mana left, which isn't that bad. Um, I actually think I think he should have obviously been played. There it is. Got out of his hand. <laughs> I can't believe I just blew it. Yo, let me know in the comments. Did you when you smacked your face, what part of your face did you smack? I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> Like, what, what part of your face did you smack? Yeah, this attack is irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> don't want any trouble. Uh, I have more elusives here, so. I think we definitely let that rock. We have another suppression. Right. Um, do I care about anything else? Another elusive. That's lethal. That's actually lethal on board, yes. Oh! I've never met anyone like you. And that's GG now. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you do. Anyone gathered here is an enemy of the crowd. Write it down, buddy. Can't respond to spells. GG. Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> we beat deep. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad sometimes, dude. But again, I don't play Ari all the time, so I, I forgot. <laughs> Morgana on oh, Morgana Violence. We got a Demacia variant with the Kaiser. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Looks pretty good to me. They're going to have a lot of challenging spells. I don't think I win this one, but I said that for the first match, too. I almost don't. Morgana hasn't uh, done much in the deck so far. It's been the Ari show. But Morgana is... Oh, wow. Yeah, there goes my one of. That's pretty cool to see. I am the Simon Wind. This would, obviously, as you as you can see, would have been is a ridiculous card. I actually would prefer it over Morgana. I just realized, is that Ari? It is Ari. Giving her the best back massage you've ever seen. Oh, she has tails too. Tail cloak. Yeah, that's, yeah. Duh. All right. Sorry, sorry, sir. I'm looking at I'm looking at the the, uh, the stuff. I right, we get that, so we get a nice little recall for free. That's 
good with me. Um, I think we we'll go with a draw here. Another Morgana. Maybe Morgana's gonna show up. And, and if she wasn't so pricey, I would I would look at her as a recall target. You know what I'm saying? She would definitely be like a recall target, and then you keep cursing things. Cursing an enemy twice is really strong, but it's uh, it's just uh, it's a little bit too much. I could also use this on it, and then I have an ephemeral copy. It comes back to my hand anyway. But we got, we have the Mage Seeker here. All right, we have that. I think we just tag it out. I don't think it fizzles the spell either, which kind of sucks. Do I waste it on that though? No, I think I think we keep our spell mana here. Potentially tagging out uh, Mordekaiser could be pretty big, and then they get elusive. He blows it immediately. Now this deck, I think Suppression will do amazing against this deck. Him having an elusive blocker is a pain in my ass though. Alright, so the odds... What are the odds? Keep mana up to save my girl, just in case. We have Mace Seeker Jr. here. Um, we haven't really been targeting anything. We're really behind on that. I think we... God, I have the, I have a sick combo. This is followers, though, right? When you recall a follower, so I'm an exact copy of it. So... Anyone gathered here is an enemy of the crowd. Just to mess up their hand. It actually gives me some information. Do you have spells that you care about in that hand? He has a lot of cards in hand. Seven cards outside of the suppression. So does he have spells? Does he care about this? Is it a unit focus deck to where you just kind of leave this in your hand anyway? And all you have is like rally? <laughs> I'm assuming you're running vengeance and stuff like that. So I'll probably just pull it. And that's a nice, easy kill on this. Put this back into the hand. Again, it's another recall, which kind of sucks. Uh, next turn, we set up this or this, depending on what they play. So he does the suppression, loses a couple spell mana. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I just wanted it for the challenger. He plays Morgana themselves. Your predilection for cruelty will haunt you one day. And that's all my mana. That's how strong hers is in comparison. Two steps into moonlight. Do that. Take this guy out. Might as well put the zero one there. I won't be blocking with Ari, obviously. If he does develop, then I then I would Morgana him, right? Too slow. But now he knows we have the suppression. I really want to set this up because it would just make my life like it would make his life uh, terrible, honestly. Uh, curious of what he does here. I might have to be willing to give up Ari here, though. Death is still a thing in the hand. That's fine. We're going to re probably recall the hell out of that. Um, I think we lock up his Morgana. I think I just lose the game, I guess. This does stop this. Um, he, if he attacks, he has to be willing to protect it with like a thing. I won't block though. No matter what he attacks with, I'm not blocking. Um, I, I'm too low on mana and he has a lot more mana than I do. What the hell is that? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a, a legion of them to the so point to these come like blurred in the background. Damn. That actually looks pretty cool. Close combat, something like that. Okay. Hide and seek, huh? That's fine with me. I'd kill this. 
but he's probably more confident about this than anything. All right, so now we can do this. No half mask can hide the torment you're truly in, Klaus. You're just a mere conjuring. Go away. So he places suppression off immediately. Like, God will of sealing this is actually insane. <laughs> I get a two, like, pretty much two copies of it, and then he gets four suppressions in hand. And he's just constantly doing, putting other things in there, that's fine. Alright, so. Yeah, I think that this is the play. Spirit may act free of body. Can't get this out of his hand now. We can pull both of his units off to the side and then um Deception is natural. Oh sorry. The forest moves. So if he plays uh one of these deathless units, we can tag it out. So he has a lot of mana here. I'm expecting like a Mordekaiser. Place the suppression. And then place that. All right, so you have fun with that. He hasn't, he gave Deathless to two units. Now he could have been like when I play Death, that Deathless unit and uh, every unit in my hand has Deathless already. <laughs> Which is very annoying. No half mask can hide the torment you're truly in, Klaus. You're just a mere cop. <laughs> just keep playing it. He has to keep playing the stupid thing to get it out of his hand. And then he does that to kill it. I could recall it. Lowering his hand. Um, do I care about that? I actually think I do. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. And the only reason why I don't is just because of... I mean, he's so far ahead of me, right? Let's see... Mage Jr. Alright, we do it again at first speed. Uh, can I play both? I think technically I can. We do this first. Intensive action shadow. So that puts two of them in his hand, right? So he has four. So has four mana. No one is beyond my reach. No one. All right. So now he does that, right? So we could pull and kill his. He has spent four mana just to get it off. I think we probably get rid of the Mage Jr. here. Lock up. Doesn't really matter who I lock up, really. So if it doesn't matter, do I even bother to do it? He can get rid of this. If I put another one, he just spends all his mana to get rid of it. I think we lock up his Morgana. I find the mages are like weeds. Best up. Can't do both. For cruelty will haunt you one day. He has to get this out of his hand, and I, I get the ability to kill. Beg for mercy. These are ephemerals to begin with. Get rid of this, so now I can get rid of this suppression if I want to. So then I have the ability to do the Morgana's Dark Binding. Kills here. There we go. Now, on, on his opening turn, right? He gets uh, another one. <laughs> he gets another suppression. So that sucks for him. Boom. Now it's six mana. Remember, whatever he has, we still have the, uh... Doom is my instrument. I am not done with you. He's not done with me. He can't play any spells now. This is six mana. It's out of his range, right? So... 
we play this and he can pull my fake one here I guess if he wants to um, recalling he has to have another unit that does that and this is not his deathless units either so that tells me he probably got these a little bit later um, recalling this Right, then he really can't get this out of his hand. He he can't get it out of his hand currently. So I think I think we just recall him. Like I said before. Recall. Mordecai is back in the hand now. Then We recall this. We get another copy of it. Time for a leap of faith. This brings that up to eight. It will all be over soon. I thought about that. Yeah, he's gonna kill it. That's fine. Worth it. All right. So. I think we do this. Lock up his hand like no one has locked it up before. Are you close? I think it's still lethal though, right? Because if he, he has to have, he can't respond with a spell. All these things come back. 13 suppression. He has to play all his mana. Even if he plays Mordekaiser here, it does nothing. We burn, then kindle anew. That's a decent way to get around it. Not lethal yet. Do I have another recall? It's only one mana. Let's see. What if I put the forest moves? Not enough. This is all oh, you put it on that. Okay. I do not fear them. I have been through far worse than this. Big for mercy. Yeah, I wish I had like a little buff key. It will all be of us soon. Approach. Alright, so he gets a really good uh, Mordekaiser. Um, I, I don't think I, I could really prepare for that. He has a bunch of units though. Um, I was oh, I thought that was lethal, dude. Maybe do this. I don't know the recall, I don't. This is locked up in forever, so he can't respond with any spells, uh, pretty much. That That's just a thing. Um, I will bless you with death. But he has double Morgata now. In any way, shape, or form, can I survive this? How many cards in hand? Actually, that's important to know. How many cards in hand? Three Morganas. Okay, we actually can lock up one of the Morganas. Is there anything else that I could do here? Uh, disable, I guess, the pulling. Yeah, he can kill a lot of stuff here. Get that going. Because if, if three of them attack, I get three shackles, right? So I think reducing one of them might be decent enough for us to survive this turn. Be still. So he can't even get this curse out of his hand if he wanted it. We can block. Okay, only two of them attacked, right? So this is a ephemeral version anyway. So you just block the highest. All right through them. Um, keeping units on our board. How important is that? 
Uh, we have two shackles to get rid of. We, we can't. This one's gone. I need. I need another Morgana. Do I have any? I do have targeting stuff. My Morgana actually levels here. No, she doesn't. She's gonna get hit twice, right? Okay, so those two shackles go for my hand. So I don't have to play to get him out. And I had to use my other Morgana just to get out of that. I have to raw draw her, basically. No half mask can hide the torment you're truly in, Klaus. You're just a mere conjuring. Go away. Ah! You just got a raw draw! Alright, uh. Let's keep it classy. I don't think there's a monster he can respond with. Uh, I do think we do this, though, so he actually can't play any spells. Just lock him out completely. Right? Morgana is now leveled. So familiar. I am not done with you. He loses the Morgana, though. And now he has a space in his hand for me. Uh, who do we lock up? Lock him up. I am your truth. I shall show them what it is to fall. I wish these guys were just a little stronger. They had four to, to take this out. Okay. He has no other plays here. He's probably hoping that I clear his board here. Uh, so you're cursed. Share in my curse. This will hurt a little. Who else gets the, uh... I think this Morgana is the one that's gonna get, uh... Locked up, right? I do not fear this. It will all be over soon. It gives him board space, which I think is it might be a problem, but I can't really control giving him board space at the moment. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have the board space. She takes a hit. I heal a little. Bear this burden. <laughs> Mordekaiser is permanently uh, locked up, though. Oh, actually, he's not. He actually could open uh, open with suppression. So I will have to play uh, the Magic Fettering to make sure that uh, Mordekaiser is locked up forever. Unless he, uh, what is it? Uh, he'd have to kill it, right? He'd have to kill it and revive it. He has to be playing that specific card to get, to get the, the thing off Mordekaiser. So that is that. Is that. Oh, wait, I could play... This is better. It gives her a little bit more defense. It, it's a long match, but it's a good match. Oh, he put it on this one, too. That's weird. You got all his Morganas again. He still has the, the, the engine, man. He still has the engine. I have to put the suppression, uh, put the suppression out of his hand. This is six damage just attacking, and I don't have enough blockers. So maybe this uh, playing another one of this would have probably been the play. Because Morgana gets locked up immediately. We have Ari, who's definitely late to the party. Ari would have, I think, won me the game. It was a blockbuster, though. It was a blockbuster. And actually, uh, Ari would stop all these shackles. Uh, not stop them, but after the shackles, I'd be fine. So that's pretty cool. I had a blast. Hopefully you guys did too.
had an absolute blast. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to be streaming multiple stuff. Like I said, Rude Terra, TFT, El Arenas, all that good stuff. Guys, stop by. I would love to play some games with you guys. This deck did actually way better than I thought it did. It's uh, more, more recall the units. The cap size, I think, is a four cost. Four mana uh, card uh, somewhere. Uh, there it is. Capsize. Recall their stuff. Boom. Back to the hand. I do think that that would have been, uh, that would have helped out uh, in a lot of cases there. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.